Ferris is home and he is very ill. In fact, I debated whether or not I should even leave him. Grace! I can appreciate how this time of year children are prone to taking the day off. However, in Ferris's case, I can assure you he is truly a very sick boy. Never had one lesson. Playing hooky, it's a time-honored tradition for high school students, but what about people at work? Some shocking new numbers from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation on the number of sick days taken by federal government employees. When compared to the private sector, it'll knock your socks off. It's almost three times as much, according to sources from the Treasury Board of Canada, pulled out by the CTF. 6.7 days for Non-government employees, that'd be those of us in the private sector, 17.9 days per year for federal workers. Are we getting hosed? Anthony Fury, Sun News columnist, joins me now to talk about it. And Anthony, you and I both work in Ottawa. We both live in Ottawa. This is a sensitive topic <laughs> when you're talking to family members, when you're talking to neighbors. Oh, no, 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 I work hard for mine. And I do know public servants that work hard. But wouldn't you be ticked off if you were one of them and... 17.9 days off per year is the average. I do find it interesting, some more Ottawa folklore. When the weather is really, really bad, suddenly the parking lots are empty. But when the weather's really, really good, too, the parking lots are empty. So there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> lot of discretionary uh, vacation day happening here. And this is sick days they're using. This is not including the vacation days. And the vacation days are pretty sweet for people, definitely depending on their seniority. So all very interesting, seeing as we have Labor Day coming up right now. And people are going to be taking to the streets. They're going to be wearing their Harper Hates Me pins, those pins that were distributed last year at the rallies. They're going to be arguing that somehow horrific things are going to be done by them, by the man looking to oppress, oppress them, which is apparently, what, taking away 18 oh. sick days? Like, what, what's going on here? In Environment Canada, according to the numbers from the CTF, Environment Canada workers were the, uh, the best ones within the, the federal government because they only took an average of 12 days off per year sick. So uh, almost so, double the private sector. So yeah, sector. Just, just under double what the private sector does. But Veterans Affairs was more than 24 days per year. So when you work that out into work days, not counting, that's not counting the weekends. Those are work days off. That's more than a month off on top of your vacation. And these are, as they pointed out, these are not the, uh, uh, these are not the vets we're talking about. These are not aged vets. These are the desk jockeys that are supposed to be helping the aged vets. Exactly. And you look and you wonder, how can this be? Some people, and I'm sure there's one or two union advocates who'd like to say, well, it proves that the union jobs are just more stressful working in the federal public service. And they must take stress leave. No, come on. We all know that this is abuse of sick days. And ho hold on a second there. 18 about for the public, six for the private, triple. Who's paying? Well, Who's paying for the bills? of the public sector workers. Clearly the private sector are. So it's a continual abuse. The idea essentially that the regular working guy has to pay for the largesse of the public sector union guy. It's you, offensive. You link this into Labor Day and um, you know anyone that's in a private sector union is in that 6.9 days per year, so just shy of seven. Uh, they're in that group. So if you're working for the auto workers, you're working for energy and paper workers and you're in a union, you're also paying for the Public Service Alliance of Definitely. Canada employees that are taking triple or more uh, days off. So you've got to pay for that, and the union is fighting efforts to change how this is dealt with. And the Harper government's big crackdown isn't to say, stop abusing sick days, stop going to the golf course. It's to say, if you're taking more than a couple days off, you're going to go on short-term disability if you're off for uh, you know a couple of weeks you're going on long-term disability which is what most uh what most private sector employers have and the union is fighting it saying no you you're taking away our sick days this is wrong because they know that that will actually crack down on this because you have to show paperwork to get the insurance company to pay for the disability and the total, if it's real. the total insult, not just to regular working non-unionized Canadians, but to, to unionized Canadians working for the CAW or whatnot, is that all the union leadership gets together and they enable this behavior, both public and private. And like you said, the basic idea, CAW guys are paying for their PSAC counterparts and so on to have all these vacation days. So it's really putting all these interests 
against each other, but they don't even know they're against each other. And that's why the whole Labor Day amalgam of everybody getting together and rallying that, oh, if we can't have our 18 sick days, somehow the sky is falling and this is the, the worst case of discrimination and oppression a, a, an employer has ever done to its employees is just a downright insult, I think, to to pretty much everybody who's not a public sector worker. Right. What, what's the solution? I think the Harper government's being too mild on this. I, it is a solution going to this this insurance system of short-term and long-term disabilities because the insurance companies, as I, say, as I say, will ask for paperwork. But should there be a stronger crackdown on people that are abusing it? Should they be facing some sort of uh, punishment, some sort of retribution? I think they should, but I think the bottom line is sick days are for when you're sick. And if we enforce that, There'll be radical change already. There'll also be radical opposition. All I right, know that. Anthony Fury, good talking with you. Cheers.